Hi, my name is Marion Calmer. I'm the owner of Calmer Cornheads and also uh, I farm in western Illinois. The harvesting tips that I have for you today are about setting the concave and also setting the sieves. If we're harvesting soybeans, in my opinion, we can go ahead and bear down on concave clearance to help thresh out those green soybean pods. As I've mentioned in some of my other videos, we believe the best threshing takes place when we rub grain on grain. In a red combine, I add some filler plates which holds the soybean pods in the chamber so we can rub them together and, and get them to thresh. On a green combine, I believe if you look through the owner's manuals, they have inserts and you can put that in there and again, we want to hold the green pods in the chamber long enough to get them to thresh and it makes it a lot easier for the rest of the machine to separate it. As far as setting the sieves for soybeans, I've been fortunate enough with the filler plates, I'm getting almost complete thresh and I really don't need to close the bottom sieve very much uh, when I cut soybeans to keep the pods out of the grain tank. But if you do, we're all going to agree that we would want to close the bottom sieves down a little bit and send the pods on around for a second pass to get re-threshed. Now let's switch gears and talk about harvesting corn. First off, we want to set the concave clearance. And in my opinion, it doesn't need to be any tighter than the thickness of a cob. I like the common sense approach. Go out and grab a cob, open up the combine, and see if it'll fit between the rasp bar and the concave. And I would also say that it wouldn't hurt to have it maybe just a little bit wider. We don't want to overthresh the cob because it will create cracks, broken cobs, which will give us more grief later on. So the concave clearance basically is adjusted for the volume of material that's going through the machine. Corn, 150, 200, 250 bushels, we're going to open up the concave. And soybeans, 50, 60 bushel beans, we're going to narrow it down. Now, let's, let's, uh, let's go on and set the sieves for harvesting corn. And this is one of the places that I think I really differ than what the owner's manual is going to recommend. It's also our number one harvesting tip of the year. During corn harvest, the book would have us have the top ones open and have the bottom ones closed down so that we can clean the grain tank. In my humble opinion, that is very counterproductive because as soon as we start to close the bottom sieves down a little bit, we shut off the air. And we can't get the air up here through all of the material. Remember 250 bushel corn coming off of the auger bed down here. We need all the air we can get. Number two, by closing the bottom sieve, we're going to send broken cobs on back through us for a second pass. There is no part of the corn cob that needs to be refreshed. And if it goes through this size the first time, when it comes back, it's going to be even smaller yet, and it's going to be even harder to clean. Very counterproductive to close the bottom sieve during corn harvest. And if we do close it down, we're going to send a few corn kernels on back. The last thing I want to do is three thresh corn kernels. There's no increase in yield by threshing them the second time. So I humbly disagree with all of the combine manufacturers that recommend that you close the bottom sieve to clean the grain tank and corn. My recommended setting, and you try this at home, and I'm sure you're going to agree, call me on my cell phone, but we want that bottom sieve. I want that baby wide open. I want all of the air to come up to the top sieve and now to clean the grain tank I'm just going to open and close the top sieve until I get 95, 99 percent of the cobs out of the grain tank. That way there's no return, I've got maximum air, I'm not breaking any corn cobs uh, unnecessarily and we'll get a cleaner job, we'll get a nicer sample in the tank and we'll have less field loss. So, in corn harvest, I would recommend the bottom sieve be wide open and just use the top one here 
to clean the grain tank. As always, if you have any comments or suggestions or questions, uh, feel free to call me on my cell phone at 309-368-1182. You can visit our website at calmercornheads.com and we'll be more than happy to do whatever we can to help you have a uh, good harvest and um, if you ever need anything we'd be happy to help you out so with that uh, we hope that you have a safe harvest thank you